Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are messing around in the 1.8 early access and specifically we're going to be messing around with the firework block because I have been messing around with them just a little bit and I've put them actually on the underside of my jet here as like little missile launching pods I guess or rockets. And I gotta say, just shooting them like that is so satisfying. But I did discover something, and I'm not sure if it's a visual glitch because we're in an early access beta version of Trail Makers right now of 1.8. But if I go ahead and land this jet really quick, hang on. I'm joined with Professor Cognito, by the way, and I'm just gonna... <laughs> I just strike you with a firework. Uh, how do you feel? Uh... Felt nice. Felt great. <laughs> Felt nice. Yeah, they don't do any damage at all. They're just complete particle effects. When we take a look at the firework themselves, when you change the color of the firework, you also change the color of the actual firework itself like that. So there we go. We have like a blue and yellow firework. I just changed this firework to fully red on the right side and I can launch a red firework. But whilst messing around, I discovered that if you paint the fireworks like fully black, when you you go to shoot the firework they are invisible and you'll see the only thing you'll see is this like small particle explosion so let me get into the air here and show you a better view of what i'm talking about so i shot one there and there you go you see that tiny explosion so the firework particles are invisible but the only thing you see is the tiny ignition i guess of the firework tiny particle where it explodes and this has given me a really cool idea i want to use this little visual glitch trick with the fireworks to make a cool looking anti-air world war ii black cannon because to me seeing those little explosions that's like the closest thing we get to flak, to producing flak cannons ourselves. Obviously, there's not going to be any damage. So we're going to kind of just like role play with it. So I have Cognito working on a uh, modification for a World War II bomber. And he's going to put some dynamite in there to simulate him getting shot down. So disclaimer, this isn't a real weapon. The fireworks don't use PvP elements. They don't do any damage. This is purely satire, I guess. <laughs> I need to get building this flak cannon. Cannon. Let's get to it. Now, this should be pretty easy to make. All I need is a base for the turret to spin around on. So we're just going to do this. I'm going to put some corner pieces here, some wedges. I want to make it look pretty because it's not that much of a complicated build. If I can make it look good, then uh, there's the reason you've clicked on the video. <laughs> so we have some weights here just to keep everything nice and uh, on the ground. I want to make this look a little circular. I'm just doing this with these wedges. And that's pretty much the base section done. Now I need a servo. Very nice. I think for this, I'm going to be using an operator seat. I think that makes the most sense. It's just literally a chair. Now this top portion that I'm working on isn't connected just yet. I just kind of want to get the general shape down. And I'm thinking of using these cylinders, having them offset a little bit, just like that. And then having a pipe piece on the end to look like the actual cannons, the barrels of the cannons. Oh, that looks awesome. Okay, yeah, we're getting somewhere. Okay, now I need to connect it to the base now and make sure it can aim up and down. So I'm going to be using these large hinges. Let's put that to hold position and I want the speed to be 0.05 just because I feel like the large hinges at 0.10 are still pretty quick when turning it. I want to be quite accurate when shooting this thing. Okay, let's add some shields on the side to just, you know, give it more uh, character, I guess. And that looks like a pretty good prototype flat cannon to me. And if I give that a test, that does indeed feel like a flat cannon that's yeah that looks awesome so now we need to add our fireworks we're going to accessories into lights you will find the fireworks here i guess they count as light emitting blocks because you know they're fireworks so it makes sense for them to be in there i'm just gonna paint the entire thing black so now the fireworks are black and i want to just delay each firework by a full one awesome so all we need to do now is uh give it a bit of detail Let's paint this finger. 
And here is the final product. So I've added uh, a few decals, give it a more of a gray color, added some decals on the ends of the barrel so they look like they're actually hollow. And you may notice I've used the new dinghy side and corner pieces as sandbags because uh, I don't know, they're kind of like the perfect shape. But here it is. What do you think, Cognito? Yeah, it looks really good. I really like the sandbags. Sandbags, those are clever. <laughs> yeah, because uh, a nice attention to detail. Oh, you got there. the. Uh, oh yeah, I see the bullet holes too. Nice. Been through some wear and tear. It's been through some war. And if I go in first person or top seat camera, I have a little sight, a little sight for my little camera here. So let's give this a test. Are you ready? Let's do it. Now the fireworks should be invisible and only show the explosion. Uh, I want to get a better angle here. Let's just go into sticky camera for now, and I'm just gonna shoot. Oh, there they go! You see those? Wow, these fireworks produce a lot of smoke particles too. <laughs> like all over the character. Yeah, they do. So the fireworks themselves, when they launch, they do have a lot of bullet drops. So gravity uh, is a little bit of a menace right now. And also they don't go too far because they, you know, they explode pretty quickly. But I mean, that looks like a flat cannon to me, dude. That looks menacing. Even though there's no damage on these. I don't know. It's just cool. Maybe somebody can use this method to make a cool cinematic movie or something with this. All right, so Cognito is in that bomber plane, and I'm just going to launch some uh, anti-air flak at him. All right, he's in range. No, he's not in range. You need to be pretty close for this to look cool. Yep, see it. Enemy! Shoot! Fire! Oh! <laughs> Dude, that was so cinematic. Was that? <laughs> that looked awesome. No, no, legit. That looked really, really good. I cannot wait for you to see the clip of that. Yeah, I'm going to save that as a GIF. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, let's try that again, but let's make it a little bit darker, I guess. I want to see how bright these explosions can be. Because Flak looks very good at night. Yeah, let's, uh, let's give that a test. Oh, yeah, look at those explosions. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, the bomber plane is taking off. And they said this wasn't a weapons DLC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're firing Flak. The enemies are flying over. Oh, we missed. Oh, we got him. <laughs> awesome. And an awesome crash into the sea. Wow, dude. You need to try this out. We're going to switch sides now and see what it looks like from the, the plane. Uh-oh. You never said you put real bombs on this. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. We're swinging around. We are the enemy. Enemy bomber heading into enemy airspace. And uh, I guess let's just make a really cinematic shot here. Maybe and action. Cannon. Oh, I see them. I see them. Nice. Oh, nice. Wow. It looks so good. <laughs> and yeah, you've busted my wing and we're going to crash. <laughs> I'm loving this. This is giving me flashbacks to my War Thunder days. Yeah, let's give it one more go. Yeah, let's do it in the daytime. All right, here I come. I see the flak. Right. That looks awesome. And yeah, nice. you got me. Let's just say you got me there. <laughs> yeah, nice. But very cinematic crashing, dude. Wow, we could be movie directors, dude. Mm -hmm, we're good. Yeah, with the new cinematic mode too, from the community as a whole, like, I want to see some, like, top quality content produced from Trailmakers now with uh, the new cinematic and all the new blocks here from the Rescue Pack and the 1.8 update. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, and want me to try out other things involving the new blocks, definitely leave your suggestions down below. And whilst you're at it, why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.